Yeah, it's the sweat stash right here. <laughs> yeah, that's the sweat goddamn. Sweat stash. Yep. Man, it's that season, baby. You know what I'm saying? Towel season. The only fan lights in their bit, buddy. Sundress. <laughs> Sundress shit Sundress going on. Sundress season. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about something else. <laughs> We on again. I hope you listening closely. We doing our own thing, but we doing this for the culture. Check out the top. Check out the top. Don't be the subject. Don't be the subject. We keep it pop. Hey, we keep it pop. You can be up next. You can be up next. We are more than culture. 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 We are more than culture. More than culture. More than Coach is the brand. It's the More Than Culture show. Come on, the secret genius. Tyler Chronicles. Ronnie Jordan. Remo is dancing somewhere. Dancing, dancing, Probably dancing. True. He's a dance person. I'm going to dance in my jeans. Uh -huh. We got a culture oh, goddamn baby. OG in the house. We got a culture cousin. Man. Brother yeah. OG. We got big Second dog. time, but first time. Second time, but first time. So you got to do a whole, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole... Grammy Award winning, man. Mm -hmm. Producer, not just a beat maker, producer, mm -hmm. legendary. Uh, from Virginia, came mm -hmm. down. He out here working, man. We got Big Dog in the house. We yeah, you, Big yeah, dog. yeah. Big, Big Dog humble in the monster. house. Who said that? That made me sound kind of important. You is, bro. Yeah, you yeah, wrote man. the soundtrack to our life. Well, I'm, you know, you I'm saying it, yeah. from the south, so they probably. I was hot. You did. Yeah, for real. Who's the woman that do the, your tag? Big the humble monster. Yeah, who's um, the British lady? Yeah, who that? She's actually not British. She's from Jersey. Oh, that's what's up. He said, yeah. I said rich. We said rich, not British. I say Brit. I thought she was. Oh, you said British. I thought you said she, she was. Who's the rich? She woman? did her her best British rendition. Okay, I liked it. Yeah, yeah. I'm a She was black. Yeah. Oh, nice. Black. Even better. Over. Yeah. Well, okay, that was an odd question, but I just had it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> For people that hear the tag, they am like, oh, okay, that's a black chick from Jersey. I'm jumping straight to it. I'm finna get to the, my favorite Jay Z song in the world. You oh. produced it. There we go. Um, but how the hell did you come up with the All I Need beat? Like, was it already a song? Did you have a hook? Can't like, tell you how many times I got dressed to that song. Man. <laughs> nigga, that song, like, if a nigga it's don't fuck crazy. with you no more, fuck it. All I need is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he told me the, the All I Need story in his cutlass. Was it Monte Carlo or your cutlass? Which, which one was I was it? in the Monte Carlo, bro. I had the goddamn CD player that, right uh -huh. now. With the, On your thigh. Yeah, that yeah. bitch. Did it or no, nigga. All I need. Ride to the comedy club. Oh, so you had a CD player attached to the tape? The tape Ooh. jack. So this the man, adapter. nigga. That's the adapter. Yes, sir. The this the man on adapter. your lap. Yes, sir. Cause yeah. all you don't know nothing about that. You got to tell him. Because Blueprint That's 1 came shit. out on 9-11, but mm -hmm. UGK dropped that, that day too. Fabulous drop. I had all the shit, but that number 11. Mm -hmm. That number Lim. 11. Lim. Number 11 on that day. I seen a video on the the, the, the joint sample from B.I. I'm interested to know how you came up with it. I mean, the beat was actually a few years old prior to Blueprint. That's crazy. Somebody yeah. else had that. Somebody yeah, who like, had it I got first? this drop. Uh, my group, I had a group called Non Brigade. I had signed to Electra Records. So, shit, that was probably about 98. Okay. 98, 99, I had that deal. So that beat was, was sitting around for about two years. Nobody rapped on years. it? Yeah, my group did. Oh, y'all did Reno Head Rap. Okay, song. got you. Yeah, and it's, gotcha. it have called, you ever it dropped all I need. Can you, have it's you called ever dropped the original, the demo? It's on, it's actually on YouTube. Actually. What? Diversion. I gotta find it. Okay. Mm hmm So how does how does that song get in Jay Z's hands and how did your group feel when they heard? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some well, people have some questions. Unfortunately, um, one of the guys in the group was murdered the week we was mixing the album. Sheesh, oh, gotcha. Yeah. So that's how they ended up with the record. But um, how to do it? Yeah, yeah. I had that record for a while. We we already had the hook, so Jay like kept the hook, changed a couple words here and there. But all I need was already the, the premise of the record. Damn. Damn. So basically, you got you. Do you get credit for the beat and the hook? Like, is it is it always like that with a producer? Because you know, we don't we didn't know none of this shit back then. But everybody wanted to talk splits and what you should get as a producer. And you know, we hear you know what, I was I, I was absolutely supposed to get publishing on the other side, and I didn't. I let um, I gave the publishing to my uh, artist deceased family and the other guys that was in the group, and uh, I so took a percentage too. Is it that guy's vocals who passed? Is that him singing the hook? Nah, okay. that's Jay on the hook. The singing part, like underneath the, the like. The... Oh no 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 no! no. At first, <laughs> it was a guy named TC who sung all I, all I need for me. He was signed to Missy Elliott at the time back then. 
Right. But then we lost the session, so I had to redo it. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. And so uh, I had Kenny Ray sing it. Sing it for me. Kenny Ray. Yeah. Kenny Ray from Virginia, too? Yep. Okay. That's what's up. Virginia. Oh, that Virginia. Yeah, Virginia is a hotbed of talent, man. Yeah. Try that in the water over there. Something in the water. That's what they like, say. Got hunger over there? It's like, it's like <laughs> the wheel to strike. That grocery store closed. <laughs> <laughs> sure, everybody grocery store is closing. Just, just to open up an Aldi's. Shit, no weird. Word. Bring your own bag of Aldi's is the worst grocery store. Yeah, Aldi's show your hunger level. Yeah. Like, Bro, how much do you want this food? Yeah. You leave that grocery store with all your shit in your hat. No, so you gotta you, you gotta be real particular about Aldi's. Man, you go they, to Aldi's just to get like bread and yeah, bread. and the bread gonna say bread on produce. <laughs> ketchup just say ketchup. Yeah, on it. Cheerio just say O's on it. We oat O's. That's the only place in there where stuff still costs cents. <laughs> but I saw, I saw sixty nine cents. Wait a minute. I saw something that was like every General Mills has another company that makes all the stuff in Aldi, uh, and it's the real. It's the same shit. It's, it's stepped old, on. It's, yeah, it's stepped on. It's yeah, stepped, stepped on. on. Oh man, I tried, yeah, I tried to make. That's the shit I tried to make sweep up off the floor. <laughs> I tried, Same make, I tried to make French toast with their bread and that shit just turned to goo. Oh, <laughs> shit. It was just like, it was just like white. Yeah, it was just like, toast pudding. They made German toast. <laughs> <laughs> they got to drink his toast now. <laughs> like when you cook, you know, you cook Coke. Uh, like when you cook bad Coke, it don't come back. That's like, that was that's like some crazy. Bad, some bad dope. That's cook. crazy. All right. Do you play any instruments when you was coming up? Like, yeah, drums, for sure. Oh, you just play the drums? Yeah. Okay. That's where I, where it all starts from, for most producers, you think, right? Church, man. Church? Start playing drums at Come church. Come on now. Place. Did you ever, like, go crazy at church and your mom was like, shut your ass. Like, you know how y'all get the gum in your mouth? Yeah, listen, man, it was, it's, it's a song that my family used to always sing, right? And at the end of the song, it's this high note. Mm-hmm. And that. One one person in the family or everybody would hit that hit that bitch at the same time. Yeah, just go for it. And that's what you. So, well, this is what we do at the house. You know what I mean, but we in prayer meeting one night, <laughs> and they sing the song. And I just was waiting on that last note. Guys. <laughs> Over with. I went for it. <laughs> said I went for it. <laughs> my mama slapped the shit out of me. <laughs> <in my mouth. laughs> <laughs> me, I went for it. Me and note, she cut my note in half <laughs> at the prayer meeting. In, the, in the biopic, you Dang. hit the symbols and shit, and you throw the stick. <laughs> she couldn't believe it. I wasn't playing drums. Nah, he was singing. I was, oh, you? I was in the pews that yeah. night. It was Bible study. You know oh, you mean? had your head back. He yeah, said, "I'm gonna sing tonight." I went for it. I ain't on the drums tonight. <laughs> my mom backhand me my mouth. Like, oh, so, well, you in here playing? You in here playing with the Lord? Playing. So that's, so that's get on. your head back on the drums. Speaking of playing yeah. with somebody. Pause. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. All, like, wow. here we go. <laughs> of the of the, the, the Rockefeller era. Oh, okay. I thought you, you was about to talk about that. They don't mention boy. you enough to me. Like they always <laughs> mention <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. That's what I thought. Can't, was can't was even doing. start. Trans, this is weird. Look at that. <laughs> they don't mention they always mention Kanye West just blaze, but that you got like a third of that blueprint one album that they don't even talk about. But these are the slaps. Like they try to, it's like mm-hmm. they you think it's a conscious effort to omit you from the history, or is it like what? Are you, did, did you slap one of them or something? What happened? No, I didn't. I didn't hit anyone. So <laughs> I, I don't know if you heard on the uh, Eric Sermon episode. Yeah, I saw that drink of champs. Uh, drink champs. Yeah, he definitely credited you to being the father of that sound. Yes, yeah, another did. one. Somebody's still gonna be in their feelings and argue. That's <laughs> cool. I love it though. Yeah. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Like you, but your sound to me is like you, you made tuxedo rap music to me. Like it's mm. like a big. That's a good word. That's, that's a, a good bigger, You know what I'm yeah. saying? You want to put a real tux on and you go yeah. do something. Some shit yeah. everybody can't rap to. And you got a part. certain level that can only get on them. And niggas have tried and it don't sound like that. <laughs> At all. I call it regal. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, the shit type of shit I be doing when I be rapping. I mean, like you say, like slid that bullshit in there so slow. You slid that shit in like real slow. I be having what I be getting. Let it rain. 
<laughs> no, but for real, when you rapping over that trap shit, like you, you can really get away with murder. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have, you Literally, don't, you don't have to be right. Can't get away with Rico though. No, can't get away with Rico. You, don't, you don't have to be thorough like <laughs> rapping. Yeah, but, you have to know music. But, right. But as soon as you start trying to do that soul shit, it's like everybody be like, "All right, now." Yeah, the who's exposure. The, who's the best at it? Your opinion. Best at rapping to that Regal flow. Maybe not even just your your. Style, even if somebody I mean, stole it's, style. It's, it's the same, uh, I think, the squad. Three. The um, real big three. <laughs> that would be J Hove. I said two, that's the same guy. Yeah, Hove. Yeah, yeah. He'd be, he be renaming himself all the time. Hove, Ross, and Jeezy, I think. They Jeezy, do. okay. Jeezy. 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 Tuxedo rap song. Jeezy do. does, does get try. off on them beats. Yeah. yeah, he do. He do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ross is responsible for all the confidence of the fat nigga since 07. Like, he just took. Be, like when niggas knew they could do that beard too, it was a. It was a I rap. mean, Jay how showed them how to do it. He did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We we showed them how to do that. So took him under the wing, right? So you was there when, like, when he came in on the. Who Ross? No, uh, Jeezy, because like Jay Z kind of took him on his wing. No, I've never dealt with Jeezy. Ever. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Um, but uh, just listening to, like I say, like that's what kept me alive because Ross and Jeezy was trying to mimic the blueprint. Shit mm-hmm. on the albums every time they put an album out, they start mixing the trap shit with the soul shit. Like then Ti start kind of getting in there a little bit. Ti yeah, does make tough, <clears> he make tough but, um, rap, but um, mainly mm-hmm. I would just say mainly Ross was was really trying to recreate the the blueprint vibe and just renamed it to Maybach. You know, so that was the inspiration. That's hard. Mm, yeah. But you've been doing Ross a long time. I heard stories about him driving to your crib in Jersey. That part. He was him and Gunplay. Big play, as he yeah. was. Like, he was already on, Gunplay. but it was like trying to. Way before Hustling. Like a year before Hustling, actually. That's hard. I remember Hustling yeah. came out, bro. It was it a game was changer. Out. Yeah, bro. I was out there at um, Myrtle Beach for Bike Week, and everybody was playing that shit. That yeah, shit, that shit was a smash. Every car, bro. Every single one. <laughs> Fucking Gunplay, speaking of, though. I fuck with Gunplay too. Gunplay is very underrated. Makes some good songs, man. Bible on the dash shit is crazy. Well, um, uh, I wanted to ask what it was like being um, uh, around Nip. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you got a chance to listen to his uh, his his um, his project before he put it out. Yeah. Yeah, I was in Cali with them for probably about a month and a half, two months. Just actually helping them cultivate that album yeah, along man. with Mike and Mike and Keys and. My man, Lawrence. That's the 1500? 1500. Okay. okay. We were all out there. So, um, yeah, he hit me. It was just like, yo, I, I want to try to attain that type of sound. Like, just if you could just oversee it and just kind of mm. see it through and make sure the continuity of it is consistent, type of thing, basically. So, I was like, cool. So, I went out there and kicked it with him for a while and just yeah. gave advice and, you know what I mean, whatever counsel when I needed, you know, mm-hmm. if they need it. But, Doing beats too, but I didn't. I ended up not getting any, anything on the album, but I did assist with um, what's that um, the joint with uh, with Marshall on it, uh, real big, Ooh, real big. <clears throat> hey, that's yeah, yeah, that sounds I, like I, yeah. I pull, I pull battle cat. I'm gonna put battle cat on the joint with the talk box. That's hard. Yeah, that's that, hard. yeah, because so, yeah, because yeah, you don't really rarely hear a West Coast person on that type of regal flow, so it's right. dope that you was involved with that too. But um, Nip was a, was a real solid dude, man. Um, I've never been probably you know, I never I've never been made to feel like that as a as a producer from an artist. You know really? what I'm saying? Like to make, he really made me feel appreciated. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Out of all Which, the people you work with, absolutely. Damn, wow. hands down, like that's. That's just, they just not good at that. Yeah, <laughs> they be trying to hold. They just not too, good man. at it's that. Like classically, <laughs> classically not they be trying point. to hold producers like they be like nigga, yeah. like like they can replace y'all with anybody. Exactly, or like, exactly. You know, that's why and, I say it's very rare that cheaper. you. It's very rare that you got a solid dude to be like yo, because the thing is, rappers want you to respect their craft and, and and respect how they put it down and what they've done, whatever bones they've made in the game. Yeah, so like, okay, we both made our bones. Right. So it's like, okay, why we can't be respected as such? What would you do? Yeah, man, I skip a song mostly because of the beat before the rap now. So uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Point. Boy, that's real. Like, like I done heard the beat. And I done heard the beat before that was crazy. And niggas start rapping it. And I done skipped that motherfucker too. So that beat is super important. Beat yeah. is definitely what would you important. do if somebody said, Big, shut your ass up and make some drugs? <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> I, gotta I tell your rapper, homeboy, to get him. Yeah. 
No, you gotta pull up. Get I up. I would absolutely laugh. Situate him. Situate him. Get up, Rock. Situate him. Situate him. Situate him. Situate him. I ain't never heard that before. Yeah, how can a producer answer back if he don't rap? Like, how does that happen? What, I mean, what the, do do? the thing is, it just depends on who it is. Hopefully, it's just like some some local dickhead. Nah, what if you, know, you got? What you do? With the biggest if rapper. If it's Aubrey, you said Bink. If you don't shut your yeah. ass up, play some drums. Play some piano, nigga. <laughs> your regal flow ass, nigga. <laughs> regal flow, <laughs> motherfucker. You don't get some classical music ass, nigga. I'm, I'm producing the whole Pusha T album for free. <laughs> <laughs> Godspeed. Godspeed. VA for sure. You are the first thing to wherever you yeah. are, nigga. <laughs> Speaking of, did you catch them when they were first coming out? Or how, like, what's your relationship with the clips? Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Tyler Chronicles, man. And Make Me Laugh Media is a place you got to go, man, because they're the only ones that treat comments like they need to, and they will put you on who you need to be put on, not them other ones. You know, being a VA. No, no, I, no, I knew them from, you know, being around, you know, the way and stuff like that. Mm. So um, I, I definitely knew them. I mean, you was like catching them rapping like early, early? No, no, I was okay. gone. You know what oh, I'm saying? Gotcha. We, we like 10 years apart. Oh, shit. I'm sure it was clips. Like, not, yeah. not, no, it was uh, grinding. Oh, was that? Oh. Brian, it was old something? I'm just talking about as far as age-wise. Age right, right. I'm just talking about when they hits came. When they Brian's hit like came 2000, out. 2001. Yeah, it's 2000, 2001. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was all 96, together cooking. Okay. But they wouldn't be in my circle. No, I get it. I get it. I was just, yeah. for my own yeah. self, I was trying to think. That's just a long time ago, boy. Grind was a long time ago. Mm, yeah. yeah. Yes. Man. But we had, yeah. you know, we had like kind of mutual circles, like mm -hmm. mutual friends and stuff in a lot of circles. Right. Well, I'm glad you get your flowers done because like, at some point, you had got a villain arc, in the, like you. A villain and, ark is great. He did have a villain Hell arc, like yeah. He was like, because every time somebody would come up sounding like him, he would be like, "No, right, that sound came from me. Right. That is not da 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 da." Check and out his like, IG. He'll let he's, you bitter. Know he's, he's bitter. He's mad. He's bitter. He's like, "I'm not bitter." And then you was like, "Hey, and also you need to pay me." You know, what <laughs> what like, why are you talking, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like by the time. Santorini Grease came out. You had to goddamn became back. You know how they, they you know how they lift you up and they tell you down and just lift you back up again. I mean, they do that to niggas, I mean, but. truthfully, man, you you you, you see, I, you show me somebody that don't have a lot of friends. I show you a solid nigga, mm -hmm. and right. that's normally how it is. The niggas who got everybody, they everybody's friend. That's the nigga you can't trust for sure. You know what I'm saying? Everybody like you. Like everybody, everybody like you. Like nigga, everybody don't like you. Yeah. Everybody, everybody don't like me. me. Like what the fuck? It's not even realistic. This nigga don't like me. He watch this shit every week. What's up, nigga? <laughs> That's what they do. <laughs> Subscribe though, nigga. Don't yeah, do but that. go to Patreon, yeah. nigga. God Subscribe. damn, bro. Keep not liking me over there. Like hate with a purpose. Like get but, us some <laughs> <laughs> hook us up too now. Yeah, but at the end of the day, as a producer, all you have is your legacy. You don't have anything else. We don't get to go on stage and hit the crowd scream. And, yeah. You know what I mean? And cheer yeah. for you and shit. All we got is what we brought to the game. And whatever that is, you cherish that and you try to hold on to that and put your flag on it. You feel me? Yeah. So, so is it, there a difference between somebody jacking your sound and you, I know you went to 1500 and showed them what to make. Like kind of, is, is it is it really respectful, be. but is it the same shit? Or? I mean, it, it wasn't like I had to show. It was, it's just like directing people. Like just... <clears throat> because they get it, like Mike and Keys and Ransom, they 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 get it. But he just uh, he just wanted me around. So good. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So yeah. I listened to that shit for two years straight, bro. I, I still like, listen yeah. to the album. Yeah, I still yeah, put you, it back you on. You put me on to that shit, bro. I was like, every day yeah. after we get off at Boston, yeah. because yeah. I had been album. listening to Nip, and you know what I'm saying, like. Uh, Shit, I hope this don't sound bad, but he wasn't a good rapper at first, and he was just getting better and better and better. And then, like when it came to victory, like that's why it was so. That's why it made it even more sad. It was oh. like, damn, he was just getting into yeah. his rap bag and like the beats and sounds and really taking the music serious. So that shit, that shit just hurt. I want to ask about the uh, the female rappers. There's a lot of them that's killing right now. Is any of them that you would like want to work with? Um, they can I get on that regal hoe flow. <laughs> 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 I'm a regal. <laughs> <laughs> From the young, the young crew, uh -huh. Lotto, Lotto go crazy. Lotto, Lotto, for real. But, Shout out Lotto, to Shout Plato. Yeah. But from um, the more mature crew, like I like Mumu, Mumu Fresh. I like her. Oh, I'm, that's, I'm the, that's, the, yeah. that's the closest I've ever M -O heard. M O M U. That's the closest I've ever heard. Of Lauren, okay. that somebody could. Ooh. I think somebody okay. could, put her on. Put know, us on. I like T. You don't heard of Tierra Whack. 
Yeah, her, I don't know enough about her. Got you. you know what I'm saying? She 3D Naughty is dope too. I like her. Okay, yeah, I heard you know, her too. Um, Laura, Lady London is dope. Super oh, dope. Yeah, I be, I follow her on Twitter. Lady she London is crazy. Hard. Super yeah, dope. She, she, going she crazy. Yeah, she go. And then, um, you know, uh, Rhapsody. Rhapsody, of I course. Feel like she yeah. Good. For sure. Yeah. 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 Rhapsody right. been coming out. I'm not gay, goddammit. Stop, y'all. I put I like dicks in there. It be dicks in there. I be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, that, and that's what I always, that's the advice I always give to all female MCs is like, you have to remain feminine in your, in your music. Because if you don't, then you not. It, people lose. Like, I don't know any guys that's going to ride around listening to a woman. Right. You so it's mostly mean? women listening. So you got to be a liberating. Mm-hmm. Vessel for well, women. I mean, that you know, that, that tide point. is shifting now because these niggas is With bumping. Ah, yeah, these niggas will bump that sexy. Bro, sexy. Niggas, <laughs> niggas dancing I'm again. I'm telling you, that Glorilla shit too. Niggas Glorilla, is, yeah. Niggas it's, is it's, playing yeah. that. These, these, niggas is, these niggas is spicy out here. Niggas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know what? They 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 got the little they they tricking the algorithm a little bit because like I was saying, they just using the beats from when we was like in our twenties and shit. The shit we really like, and they just rapping chick shit over the shit that we like, so they could get the men to. Be like, okay, that shit hard. Yeah, you cover. get you get caught bopping. You will get caught because it's it's the nostalgia of the beat. Yeah, yeah rest in peace. Oh, that's Petey Bob. Bob. Rest in peace, huh. gangsta boo. Uh, okay, but yeah. anybody in here painting their nails? Anybody doing that? No. Um, I mean, I got jail, but I ain't got like the color. Oh, you, oh, oh, buff man. Buff? Oh. That shit don't last long. Uh, Hell nah, Metro man. sex for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, you got to get that jail. I'm going to tell y'all, nah, I used to get buff. That shit lasted like, until you leave out of the nail shop. Nah, this shit right here lasts all a couple weeks, and I, and the hoes love it. They give me compliments, and they let me finger gloss, up, no matter uh, where I'm at. They let me finger up. <laughs> no matter where I'm at. I could be I mean, at the seafood I wear, restaurant. I wear, glo- I wear gloves for a reason. Nah, nah I can tell. you. Got uh, I make beat fingers. My man, yeah. he put his hands up. <laughs> yeah, you got there. He wear box gloves in I the house. I can tell you be trying to find the beat. <laughs> My man, my man, my man said my thumb like a jumbo shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh don't you die on no damn I wasn't going to be able to catch you because your shorts small as hell. I had to grab your knee. Grab that nigga by the head. Grab by the underside. Grab a raw knee. That'll fuck everything. I don't know what that nigga said. I see you. 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 How did uh okay? Now I just want to ask who you got in the beef. Who who you think is uh, is, is up right now with the Drake future, Kendrick Ross? As it stands right now, Tia Kemp. (laughs) <laughs> right, right. This nigga, this a, everybody in this year is World this War shit. Three. John Morant got that. <laughs> everybody got in this bitch. Cause what sister said, how I get in it? <laughs> I haven't heard any war music yet. War myself. music, okay. Tell lyrically, a nigga where lyrically, size seven is lyr- crazy. Yeah, lyrically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So funny. But I'm saying, so lyr- funny. lyrically, Drama they, 50 is crazy. Yeah. Lyrically, they going at it, but there's no emphasis on the music right now. Which what's that mean? Like normally you want you want to find that beat that, that right. really oh the make, beat the beat that really yeah, make yeah, you yeah. feel like Sorry. you know what That's I mean? Right. Like, I'm trying like to, do you question. got somebody to talk if they call if somebody call and say he got beat that motherfucker? Oh, absolutely. Okay, All right. I mean, but I'm just saying. But you like, know what though? What? By, by, I hate to cut you off. By and large, most most to me, most of the the well, most well known uh, rap beef songs or rap diss songs have kind of simple beats. Think but about they it. Happened, but takeover was crazy. Boom, right? Boom, simple boom, though. Boom, boom. That sample though. Come yeah. on. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, charged up, back to back. They, they were. It was just dumb, shit. Dumb, Ether. Dumb, dumb. Ether. These are all to me. I don't make beats. I let you take. That's Detroit. No more that. playing. Ga is a beef song. Mm, they took he took that no living mm, record by itself. This nigga had mm, mm, and guns. But, but I'm saying <laughs> though, what you think like yeah, did yeah, though. You, you, it seemed like you're proving <laughs> my point for me. That's all I'm saying. It seemed like all the beats that they 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 rap over, it'd be like kind of just kind of plain beats. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Maybe just the, the the one, you know, the be legit one that Kendra went over. Obviously, that's an intricate beat in my eyes, but that's that people know that, so it, it attracts you. And then even um Push the shit, the story of Adi Don. Uh, uh, what, damn, what fucking beat did he use? That's that that song was uh, crazy. But he, I, but he used the beat that was known already. So okay, yeah, you know I mean, so I, I don't know. I, I think I feel you, but I feel like I yeah, think, I, I think they want you to hear the words. Yeah, Ethan was crazy. Yeah. Man. I'm just not moved yet. All right, lyrically. I'm well, not, are we I jaded though? Have we seen we seen all this shit before? You know, Ethan, all that Jay Z shit was. <clears throat> 
We might yeah, be jaded. We might have seen too much porn. I mean, because <laughs> <laughs> we may be uh, desensitized. Yeah, we are very desensitized. Now, right? Yeah, for sure. You know, just you know. in general, like how much people talk shit to each other in general. Twitter is worse than this beef like, yeah. at all. I mean, my, that listen, my, my, only qu- my only love and hip hop was worse. Than my, this my, shit. my only qu- <laughs> my only question is this: Bambi is scrappy worse than this. Shit. <laughs> I, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out where is the energy coming from, just to say somebody's name anyway. These girls, man. No, because you don't just beef with a nigga, just to beef with a nigga. Right. Right. So where is it? My, I mean, can, is, is it not enough to say that they just like, t- we tired of this, who's at the top, I'm the best? Bro, can you I, can just say you the best. But if other niggas are saying they the best, and then you also said that I'm the best with you, then like, no, 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 you're not the best with I mean, me, I'm just the best by we, myself. Listen, we already know when you go down that rabbit hole, it's like, okay, are we talking about perspective or numbers? Yeah. That's all it boils down to. We gonna we, feel like we talking about like in basketball we talking about a nigga with the rings or a nigga with the stats. What we talking about? You know what I'm saying? So I think like, when it come down to rap, you just gotta look at what rap people like. I don't be listening to the but it's, people it's that all, just it's, into the but streaming it's, era. But it's still all a matter of perspective. Like yeah, you know, hell yeah. You yeah. can't like you can never gonna say the of that. Drake shit was whack if they don't like Drake in general. They are gonna listen right. to it like that shit was whack. Yeah. So, so, so like how do you determine who's number one? You know what I mean? Like it's, it's, that's why it's, that's why it's always it's the tough. argument. The argument yeah. is gonna always be there. You but man, but saying? I think that's why I think that's why you just have the sake of arguing. It's like you can't. I mean, everybody has a, a point on LeBron. Everybody has a points on on Jordan, and that's why you just have to have the argument. I'm gonna say this though. You want more exclusive content? <laughs> Shit that you can't see nowhere else. Anywhere else. <laughs> Subscribe to the Patreon. Yes. We got different tiers for your mm-hmm. budgets. Yep. 5, 10, 15, 20. Come shop with us. Yes. We telling everything over there. It's huh? 5, 10, 20, but y'all will see when y'all get there. Y'all, yeah, if you, but you, you can get a 10 and a 5. That yes. made 15. Yeah. Patreon exclusive content, man. Yeah. Never before seen footage, new and old, man. Make sure you tap in. Weekly drops or bi-weekly drops, early releases, early, early ticket releases. access. And what happens on Patreon stays on Patreon. Mm-hmm. You dig? Yeah. More than culture. You just can't not touch that microphone. <laughs> yeah, I can't. As far as creatively. Mm-hmm. It's 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 a tie between Kendrick and J Cole. Like, like there is they are the they are the king of you like in, seven minute drill. I don't know. I'm talking about as far as the body, about the artist trend. Yeah, we talking about back in the day. It's the vest, <laughs> man. It's the vest. But you, you said create the soul. I'm just saying most most rappers don't really challenge themselves doing records. Some mm. some dudes just do the same type of records all the time. But it takes a real artists to be like, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a record arguing with my with my shorty. Got you. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like, fire. That's mm-hmm. or Nas rapping backwards or just very conceptual. It's like a gun. Yeah, don't, don't talk to him about, yeah, right. about Nas. Nah. Yeah, he ain't a <laughs> Nas like guy. Right? Yeah. Nas is not Nas. <laughs> well we we you know <laughs> <laughs> he that nigga don't like me. <laughs> that nigga ain't my friend. You gotta say sugar free for him. You say sugar free. I don't even really like a lot of West Coast rappers either, so don't put it on that. I'm not I a Tupac fan. He, he, he like Drake. Oh god. That's Drake. I like Nip. Nip was probably my favorite West Coast rapper. I like Snoop. I like uh, Snoop can't rap, but I like his his style. Ouch. Snoop Ooh, can't rap. Snoop Come can on, rap. y'all niggas are crazy. Looking for the dizzle, the shizzle, and the bizzle. Lady to the bizzle. Well, I'm saying that like, y'all get out my face. Y'all ain't about to just downplay so hold on, me. So you y'all know what? We got them. We got them. We got them boxed in there. No, you okay. don't. Hold watch. watch this. Watch, now, me watch this. No, no watch this. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you just okay, shit on. He just shit on Snoop. That's crazy to right? say that. He did. I said I like Snoop. Let's, I love his trim, style. But he no, cannot let's, rap. Let's trim the fat on that though. You, you shit. All right, cannot rap is okay. what I said. Boom. That's the same shit. Tomato, tomato. Mm-hmm. Right. But then you say Nas is trash. So it's like I'm trying to figure out what's in the middle here. No, they were both. They're both the same. You, huh? No, I'm saying I put them in the same category. Well, I didn't, I didn't say Nas is a very lyrical guy. Like he's he can actually rap. Like you sitting here trying to argue is like I just think you just got your mind. I ain't trying to argue. I, I because say, it's like, I don't. I'm not an Eminem fan, but I can't say he can't rap. But I don't listen to Eminem yeah. myself. I don't either. I agree with but you. But I would on. never say he can't rap. I, I mean, won't, won't say he can't rap. I would say this. I don't think. Nah, that's correct. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> you not gonna do Nasir Jones. Yeah. That's crazy. I love I, Belly. 
That's y'all African. niggas yeah, is playing, that's, bro. That's that nigga African is not team. rapping. That's tough. That's that's no, bro. That's, don't nobody that's, smoke that's that. That's I say this a lot on here. They know yeah, this. Like yeah, I can't. He's, he's, I can't. They, they, they gonna look at me like, oh, he retracted because yeah. big there. Nah, I don't give a nah. fuck who here, bro. <laughs> if I feel like somebody ain't rapping, I'm not playing that. You shit can't twice. do it, Rennie. Boy, walking here, you gonna be like, ah, did he hear it? <laughs> no, no, no! Listen, listen. It's just like comedy. It's subjective. People, some people think Kevin Hart's funny nigga on Earth. Some people think he's not funny. It's, 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 it's subjective. I'm just trying to say this. Nas, <laughs> <laughs> you're, on, you're, on the island, you're on the island by yourself. Oh, uh, I, I might be. I might be. Absolutely, I might be. You don't like Obi something? You like? Knock off one of your old girls or something? Say it again. You knock off one of your old bitches or something? Nah, I ain't that oh, old nigga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's <listen. laughs> Nah, nigga. I know that nigga be fuck me. Nigga what? Be that kind of money, he 30. <laughs> you heard about that? You heard about Nas did? Fuck, well, he told me. Uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. That nigga buys age. You heard about this? <laughs> Niggas said, "Why?" Heard about what? I heard that. Uh, remember, you know DJ Nabs? Yeah, he was doing a show, and Nas was doing a show, and his girl, his girl, he was with, was like, I guess one of Nas's old joints, mm. and she went with Nas. Mm. But this nigga wrote an open letter in the New York Times. Damn it! <laughs> I'm like, about Nas. Nas? So guess what? I ain't in that boat by myself. I tell you that. Me and that nigga hate Nas. <laughs> <laughs> He I, I in New York. That nigga, in the New York. That nigga hate Nas way more than me because I ain't wrote no letter. Crazy. I ain't wrote no letter about letter. the letter. Wow. They didn't pay for it to be published. <laughs> and waited three weeks. <laughs> this must have been pre Instagram. That nigga had to post that shit. She had to wait a month for that bitch to come out. Like, Heart ache. Heart ache. <laughs> Fuck Nas here, Jones. He can't. You know he was doing it on oh. Black Man in the Scroll. <laughs> Hard that's that's crazy. crazy. That's yeah, tough. that's hard. Mm-hmm. That, that's why he a legend. Mm-hmm. Take your bitch and then send her back. When you write me essay, nigga. Give nah, me, nigga, that give me I just, words. I'm just not a fan. I, let's just leave it at that. Okay. You know what I mean, that's the funny. nigga can't rap. That's obvious. But I just gotta talk about shit. Can I talk? My God, that's shit? funny. But yeah. oh, I just wanted I wanted to touch on because I, I you know I know you. We talk all the time, but. How was that doing the the beat battle with uh, you and Knox? Because some y'all got some of the biggest records. Like people don't like Lights Camera Action is one of the that's nigga that start the party right now. Like that's your yeah, shit. shit. Like shit that start the party now. Like your first joint with Black Street is one of the still in rotation. Like mm-hmm. could you tell me your I I don't, don't spill for it, but people don't know. Like what was your first beat you got put on? Like this is your shit. First shit got placed, put on the radio. Black Street was the first record I ever on the video. Which record? Don't leave. That was my first. Hard. Love that shit. Boy. Don't Boy. leave. Classic. Man. That was my first. You know how many got their bitch back? Of that. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Bruh. lot of these bitches back, man. <laughs> man. That's the point. So how did it yeah. feel from like you making the beat? Like did Teddy hear it and he was like, I need that? And then he yeah, he beat it up? With- Pretty much. Okay. Did, when in, you heard the vocals, order? though, did you like a you say in that tier? order? Yeah. <laughs> like a thug tear when you heard the vocals, like you was like, oh shit. It's it was happening. crazy because I was at um at this IHOP uh, that everybody go to after the club, right, Virginia Beach, and um, Teddy's assistant Madeline was in there, and she was like, "Did you hear the record?" And I'm like, "What record?" Oh damn! And she was like, the, "The record is." She's, she's like, "Come to my car." <laughs> it's on now, nigga. Yeah, I promise you. Yeah, she, she took me to the car and she played me the record. Damn, that's when I got the chill bumps. Like, what the fuck? Wow. Oh like, shit, wow. different. Yeah. But it's going shopping. That's <laughs> amazing. That's yeah, hard. I was like, Dude, well, that's like the, it's be. It's that's the, the good news because I have is horrible. So like, just to get some good news <laughs> in the middle of eating that bullshit ass food, <laughs> it was probably right. helpful. Uh, it was <laughs> nigga, hungry as hell. Oh, back, was, back then, it was decent though. Probably so. It probably had real eggs. Gonna have better meals to come. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that was before the powder eggs. That was before, yeah, that was before you got the carton eggs. eggs. You got to request eggs. Egg. You got to go. Like, y'all got eggs in this. Not so done. That eye cop and buckhead used to be the teenage hangout. Oh school. man, I done seen High so school, many people used... get their ass beat in that parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, you ride around a buck head. it you was so many drunk the fights in that uh, IHOP parking lot. Boy. I seen so many get their ass beat in that parking lot. It's a bad little parking <laughs> lot. They got PTSD nah, around there. That, bro, that shit was so after the Black Street beat, what was the next one you got on? Was it still like you still work with Teddy Riley a little, little longer? Nope. I was one and done. Then I moved to New York. Oh, and I was living with uh, Mr. Cheeks. Shout out to Mr. Cheeks. Shout out to Mr. Cheeks and his floor. I slept on his floor for two for two years. Dang. Woo! That people yeah. don't get that part. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got to tell yeah. the shit. Yeah. Tell the shit. Was it a studio at his crib too or y'all was going to the- uh... Nah, I used to have my ASR tent in the house. Just 
doing beats on my stomach and on the furniture. So it's just like, yeah. you get tired when you just- That's not gay as hell, but I like yeah, it. Yeah, you know, but when you sit in the end of your style, <laughs> your, <laughs> your, back, your back got yeah. them slouched. So you be like, you go to your side, <laughs> then you be on your, on your stomach doing <laughs> beats. That was slower and slower. What? That flow was slower, boy. All, all kind of positions making, making beats on my stomach. Your hip hurt like a ball. I'm trying to find comfort. I was trying to find some comfort. That was it. Usually they be like Charlie Brown when it's on the floor. Boy. Yeah, so we yeah, was two uh, years. That's dope. I mean, yeah. not dope, but it's a lot. Nah, yeah. I mean, it takes some, awesome you gotta, that's you gotta what make a decision though. when you want to do something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can't get to the top without doing that, bro. That's Man. a fucking fact. You won't learn that. You won't so learn you got, you, so you cooked up over Mr. Cheeks house. The, the next beat came out of that, out of that floor studio? <laughs> I, absolutely. <laughs> that flew me what, what the floor make you cook up? Shit, beach from the east, day one. Okay. Uh, tight situation, all that stuff was done right there on the floor. That's what's up. Damn. That's what's up, bro. Flow beats. Uh, yeah, How you, uh, did you meet Pharrell before you went to New York? Yeah. Okay. Me and Pharrell used to hang out a little bit back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's, he's busy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know he died. I mean, it's a new for 1873. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes he got to go recoup. <laughs> go sit himself in the old nigga, cryo chamber. Shout out to everybody who's arguing to me on my Instagram about that Uber driver I had. That nigga. That, that <laughs> nigga. Oh, that oh my God. No. Dude, nigga, Uber I'm don't like, check nobody. First of all, I live in Athens. So Ain't no way you're supposed to be driving. No you, fucking you way. You ain't even supposed to have a license on <laughs> Let alone Uber driver. I guess that ain't Uber fault. He got a license. <laughs> yeah, that nigga shouldn't have one. I take Uber to the airport, $100. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Ain't got to worry about parking, nothing. Uber canceled the one I count the schedule the night before. And somebody else coming. It said Nicholas. Just like a white man with a gray goatee. I get in the goddamn Hyundai, whatever it is. It's smaller than Sonata. <laughs> he got the goddamn back seat touching the dashboard. The front seat touching the dashboard is up so high. This nigga get in and was like, going to the airport, huh? Oh, Bobo. I was like, nah. Bobo. I know you fucking lying. That's I know I, you fucking I, lying. Nigga, that's what I said. Yeah, so I'm like. Did 15 all the way there? Bro, no, he was he was driving, but he You're like was swerving a little bit, he missed my exit, and I'm oh, like, yo. Man. So I post, I just had a video. Well, first of all, I had to do a Zoom uh, for for Oklahoma City, the TV show. I had to do a live interview uh, with Ti and the Ha Ha Mafia. So I'm like, you know, shout it out. I was like, y'all shout out my driver, and I put the camera on his face. I was like, y'all pray for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so. But he was cool, but it was just like, I put it up and he was like, you making fun of that old man? I'm like, y'all even check on me. Fuck yeah, that dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas, you know, right. There's so many people this quick to shake shit. He's shake. I'm like, you're not supposed to have five stars on Uber. <laughs> oh, oh, listen. Somebody Niggas lying. being too nice. This nigga never Oh, he just started. Too. He was his second ride. Bruh, somebody <laughs> just caught the, the Parkinson's this week or some shit. I don't know, but you ain't supposed to be driving. The, my point is, God damn it. <laughs> this nigga here, man. Sorry about people with Parkinson's, but don't be driving a long way, an hour. <laughs> subscribe though. Yeah, yeah, subscribe yeah. though. If Shout out to uh, Mr. If... Nicholas. But goddamn it, nigga, if I had a choice, I would have got the fuck out. But I had to flight to catch. So I like, man, I'm gonna go. Flight, man. <laughs> the worst. I'm yeah. gone. Come on. Yeah. I go. actually forgot I got a show. I got to <laughs> leave for real. You just made it Say up. It, no, I don't, man. I'm supposed to. I, uh... Everybody got to go, bro. So yeah, June 7th, man. <laughs> oh, what you got, uh, June 7th? Sneaker release. Oh, oh shit. Shit. I got a sneaker collab with Kevin Durant coming out. Oh, okay. shit. Come on, man. Nike, That's hard. Nike. One time for it's the tie water. It's a KD-17. KD-17. Okay. by me. He does what he call a producer pack. Right. On his, um, every time a shoe releases. So the last producer pack, the last producer pack was uh, Cardo Got Wings, Knife Wonder, and Boy Wonder. Okay. This time is Alchemist, Metro Boomin' and Me. Okay. We are, we are we're at 13, yeah, just in case you want mm -hmm. to send. They only send right now. Oh, damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> damn. I know I get one, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about it. <laughs> damn, damn. So I'm going to show you the shoe. Oh, you already designed it. Shoe done. Shoe done, yeah. check sent. This Nike, nigga. That's what's up. Let's check it out. Does it look better than Aubrey's? But that's hard. What, what, yeah, so what's the nigga. colorway? Did you uh, what, what made you inspire this colorway? Earth what? tones. I just like earth oh, yeah, tones. Hard. Good hoop and shoot. I just hard. like Fuck earth them. tones. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Thirteens oh, yeah. all around. If you them fire. Yeah, those are. 
But we'll go buy KDs because his don't be crazy priced. I like that Kevin Durant keep his shit. I see that shit. They were like 300 when I saw it. They 300 already? Well, I'm about to say, what's crazy to you? I, mean, I, I seen the, I seen the last Kevin Durant. <laughs> like, I don't want to check your Them shit's 275. Baby, these ain't Horizon. These ain't Horizon. These ain't Horizon. These ain't Horizon. These ain't Hibachi. Shit, nah, KDs for grown men is 275 and up, I believe. Yeah, I thought when I looked, it said it did say 300. I thought when I saw it. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <so laughs> that nigga get that I money. Calling, yeah. All shoes cost a lot nowadays. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shoes cost $100. Man, Kyle Kuzma got some expensive shoes. 150, <laughs> 150 is a new 75. 150 is that's, a new 75. Yeah, yeah. That's the shoes. bottom line. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't yeah, getting true. That's the new grass <laughs> cutters. <laughs> that's the <a> new. <laughs> The new bottom yeah, shelf new is, is nine, right, yeah, nine me, We used to yeah. get it. We know. Let me do one shit. So at least seventy five dollars. At least that. All right, real quick. Eli Ali, culture comments thirty three three three. Tyler plus Ozempic equals Afion Crockett. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, in the buff zone, zone, zone. <laughs> zone, 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 zone. <laughs> Shout out to Afion, yeah. man. In the movie, y'all go check it out, bro. Please go well, check it out, out man. Yeah. yeah, it's been out. Select theaters. Been out for like a month now. Yeah, it's been select out for, theaters. for a few weeks. Oh, for a few weeks. They, they, they ain't select dollars, I guess. <laughs> nah, they ain't select dollars. You gotta go that. find it. Go find it in the area. Look it up. Yeah. It's called hip, a hip hop story, right? Yeah, hip hop story. All That's right, man. Doing. We like to end this the show with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. We'll get people some words of wisdom, get through the week, get to the next episode. I'm Kamal with Secret Genius Words of the Week artist. Uh, this is for parents. Uh, I think it's important for y'all to know that y'all kids be musty. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. And I'm not talking about like, no, left the house this morning, played at school musty. I'm talking about like three, four days of funk. As soon as they walk in the door, you smell them musty. And that's kind of your fault. <laughs> you got to make your kid wash. Yeah, you do. Or they going to be funky. And people going to be talking about them. And then they're going to be talking about you. Yeah. Like I am right now. <laughs> 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 make them kids get in the tub, man. All right. Pour some yeah. bourbon on them or something. That's all I got. Y'all kids be stanking, man. <laughs> oh, you said something. In if the I can morning. tell you if I'm in the car, you get you on the bus. Said in the morning. I just made all right, that's all I got. More than culture is the brand. It's more than culture show. Come on, Secret Genius. Remo Ride, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Special guest, Bink, the humble monster. Yes, sir. Boom. We out.